There is a reason Thrift Store resonated with so many Americans. You and I are both looking for ways to make the most of our frugal savings. Today, I've rounded up 10 countries that are a cheaper version of the US. If you're looking for places that value their culture, applaud diversity, and beckon nature lovers, then these places will offer it all for half the price. Let's take a look. Istanbul, Turkey. The average cost of living in Turkey amounts to just $515 per month, which is 78% lower than the cost of living in the United States, which requires you to cash out at least $2,317 per month. Turkey was placed 181st among the world's most costly countries, while the United States was ranked 8th. Now, do remember this for reference for the rest of the video. Turkey's cultural identity is a fusion of Eastern and Western elements, forged through centuries of acting as a cultural bridge. While you rake in the history, you'd spend just $3 for a great meal, compared to an average of $20 in the United States. The culinary scene in Turkey is globally renowned and celebrated for its use of fresh, quality ingredients and the harmonious interplay of sweet and savory flavors. From kebabs to pastries, Turkish cuisine showcases a spectrum of tastes. Religion holds a significant place in Turkish society, with Islam as the predominant faith. However, the nation officially upholds a secular stance. Alongside Islam, Christianity and Judaism happily coexist, and a diversity of other religious groups are seen here too. Valencia, Spain Welcome to the region of Valencia, a buzzing and diverse destination that you've been underestimating. The average cost of living in Spain is $1,380 per month, which is 43% lower than the cost of living in the United States. The city of football legends is placed 40th among the world's most costly countries. In Spain, you'll be spending up to $400 and can rely on walking on lovely cobbled and crowded streets to get by. Unsurprisingly, the region of Valencia boasts a breathtaking coastline and pristine beaches, a great spot for anyone who misses the Californian sun. If you're into hiking, check out El Mongo Natural Park, which has long been a sanctuary for all nature lovers. The eye-popping Mediterranean views will make you feel like you're one with the earth. Most importantly, if you enjoy Coachella, don't miss the Fiesta Valencia street celebration, where a complete showstopper performance is on display for the crowds. Budapest, Hungary The average cost of living in Hungary is $969 per month, which is 58% lower than the cost of living in the United States. Hungary is placed 80th among the world's most costly countries. Budapest is known for being a cost-effective travel destination. The Budapest card provides free public transportation, free admission to 20 museums and the Lukács baths, a cave tour, and restaurant and tour discounts. A 24-hour card costs $25, 48 hours for $37, and 72 hours for $49. Now just do the math as you plan your trip to determine if the Budapest card will save you money. Budapest city is brimming with art architecture that needs to be photographed and bathhouses that'll make you forget all about your worries. So you'll get it all at a cost-effective price. Prague, Czech. The Czech Republic has a lower average cost of living, which is $1,284 per month only. The Czech Republic is placed 41st among the world's most costly countries. In Prague, food costs are as low as $362, compared to $589 in the US. Not to mention, your transport expenses would round up to $65. Just like how the states value its history, so do the citizens of Czech. The country boasts well-preserved historic cities and castles. When in Prague, make sure you connect with the history of the city by visiting Old Town. It's a bustling, cobblestoned district with major attractions like the old astronomical clock. If you're a car enthusiast and like the movie Ford,
you'll find it interesting that the Czech Republic has a unique automotive history, from the founding of Lauren and Clement to Skoda becoming a major player in the automotive industry. And you'll love Czech beer and drinks like Bekarovka. It's not your classic vodka and gin, but it'll do just fine. Lisbon, Portugal the average cost of living in Portugal is $1,180 per month, which is 49% less than in the United States. Portugal is placed 53rd among the world's most costly countries. Here, you can relish in a kilogram of Portuguese apples that would cost you under $2 as opposed to $5 in the States. And if you're seeking a city that resembles the US's tempered weather, then Lisbon's climate is generally pleasant all year round. Summers are warm with an average temperature of 25 to 27 degrees Celsius. Winters in Lisbon are mild compared to other European cities. If you think Vegas is where the party is at, then here the nightlife starts late too, typically after 11 p.m. And many establishments stay open until 3 or 4 a.m., with nightclubs extending the party until 6 in the morning. Make sure you check out nightlife, including Pink Street, Principal Real, and Alfama, so you're in for a great time. Bali, Indonesia the average cost of living in Indonesia requires you to keep $573 at the ready per month. This makes it 75% lower than the cost of living in the United States. It's also ranked 162nd on the list of the most expensive countries in the world. Apart from the stellar beaches and scenery, rent in Bali is up to $300 per month, compared to $2,000 per month in San Francisco. In Bali, everyone rides mopeds, which is both exciting and terrifying. Renting a moped costs roughly $1.8 per day if rented for the month, while gas costs about $1.75 per week. On the positive side, the primary language is Bahasa Balinese, but most locals understand English, so getting around as an American is pretty simple. Kangu is highly diversified and full of foreigners. Yet, for some reason, it does not attract many Asian tourists. There are some Americans, but the majority are Australians and Europeans, with a few Canadians thrown in for good measure. The town has an unusual mix of locals and tourists, and I believe it will continue to skew towards tourists in the next one to two years. I'm sure this place will be a great fit for any American. Penang, Malaysia the average cost of living in Malaysia is $598, which is 74% cheaper than in the United States. Malaysia was ranked 156th on the list of the world's most expensive countries. Compared to how expensive groceries are in the US, in Malaysia, you'd spend just $220, and transport would cost you under $40. The combination of British colonial architecture and beautiful sandy beaches draws many people to this island off Malaysia's northwest coast. Tajung Bunga's sandy beaches and Penang Hill's vivid scenery are two of the island's most attractive attractions and are any nature lover's paradise. You know how if you take the Brush Canyon Trail, you get to see a stunning view from atop? Well, Penang Hill, also known as Flagstaff Hill or Phuket Bandera, stands 821 meters above sea level and provides a cool respite from the searing heat below. Trust me, this place is a great shift from the United States. Da Nang, Vietnam The average cost of living in the United States is a whopping 269% higher than in Vietnam, where the monthly cost is only $628. Vietnam is ranked 147th on the list of the world's most costly countries. Food expenses in the United States are $589, while in Vietnam, they're just $211. As for transport expenses in the United States, they're around $104, whereas in Vietnam, they're $53.7. For those of you who love Miami beaches, Mikay Beach is a 20-mile expanse of white sand located about 6 kilometers east of Da Nang. This place was named by American servicemen who visited the place during the Vietnam War. Or the Sun Tra Peninsula, as it's known locally, is a favorite destination for riding, while hiking aficionados may enjoy the verdant jungles and observe uncommon species such as red-faced monkeys. Now, either way, Vietnam is full of charm and beauty. 
Fortaleza, Brazil. Pele's hometown calls you. The average monthly cost of living in Brazil is $736, which is 68% less than the cost of living in the United States. So Brazil is ranked 122nd on the list of the world's most expensive countries. Food and transport would cost you just up to $240 and $85 respectively. Now, Brazil stands out for its extraordinary natural wonders, including the awe-inspiring Amazon, the stunning Fernando de Noronha, or the iconic Corcovado Peak in Rio de Janeiro. The country also excels in cultural resources and business travel. Fortaleza and Chiara, within northeast Brazil, have experienced a substantial rise in tourist numbers with high hotel occupancy and revenue. Despite their geographical and cultural differences, the United States and Brazil share some similarities. Both countries have diverse populations and are economic powerhouses. According to the International Monetary Fund, Brazil will have the world's ninth largest GDP and eighth largest purchasing power parity in 2023. More so, America and Brazil share a strong sports culture, have global cultural influence, and share a diverse population. All in all, the wealth of history, activities, and scenic beauty makes this place a steal. San Jose, Costa Rica. The average monthly cost of living in Costa Rica is $1,073, which is 54% cheaper than in the United States. Costa Rica is ranked 72nd on the list of the world's most expensive countries. Food expenses for one person in San Jose are $426, while in the United States, they are $589. As for transport expenses, they amount to $63.4, whereas in the United States, they are $104. Of course, this is subject to slight variations depending on which city you finally lay ground in. Apart from that, it's no surprise, given that there's something for everyone. Costa Rica is well known for its incredible national parks, where visitors may participate in thrilling sports such as river rafting, canyoning, cave tubing, and zip line. It's also one of the best spots for wildlife enthusiasts to see macaws, sea turtles, and beautiful sloths. It also has a trendy, glamorous aspect. San Jose, the capital, is gradually becoming a gourmet hotspot, especially as innovative chefs create new restaurants and pubs there. So, which of these countries are you eager to visit? Comment below and follow my channel for more travel content.